Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dean Hopper Realtors. Well, today I'm in a little bit different location. I am south of San Antonio, a little town called Natalia. And the reason I'm out here is because I have one of my Air Force buddies. He's listing this house. He's going to use his cousin as a realtor, but you know what? That's okay. I'm happy to prom promote this house for him. This is a beautiful home. It's just over 3,200 square feet, built in 2018, so it's fairly new. I'm super excited to show it off, and it's on five acres. Let's go check it out. Absolutely love this driveway. Now, so normally you see horseshoe driveways. This is a full circle driveway going all the way around. Plenty of room for parking, metal roof, so it's gonna be a very energy efficient, doable roof. We are just off of I-35, the south part of it. So you are gonna have some road noise that, that's just gonna happen. But once you're inside the house, listen to see how the road noise goes. Some absolutely gorgeous oak trees, and I love the location of them because they kind of really set off the front entrance coming into this community. And they do have a nice little gate up there with security system. And I just love this little fountain set up. All right, let's go ahead and uh, start going on inside. Um, this is a beautiful home. The just came on the market. The current asking price is 70 basically 705 but uh yeah beautifully done got nice stucco rocked out here so it's gonna be pretty low maintenance on the front yard but yeah check out these doors and as always before i go in now make sure you hit that like button so let me know uh you appreciate what i'm doing it's definitely helping all right let's head on inside i mean this is a beautiful uh, metal door absolutely gorgeous all right remember this is a custom home they've done this completely different than some folks have but i really do like it you have this really nice entrance right when you come in really wide warm and welcoming got the little tray ceiling up top coming in and like i said i love just the openness this house is really built for entertaining so if you like hosting people You've got to come check out this house. Big, big living room space. I was talking to a friend of mine that lives here and he's like, he's had 20 something people here for parties and it fit just fine. But yeah, I love this little bar area. Y'all know me, I'm a little bit of an alcohol enthusiast. So having this little bar space is really, really nice to have. I mean, it's perfect for just hanging out, sipping on some beers or some whiskey with your friends perfect for that but yeah check out this room here he did have a pool table in this room but now it's perfect for having your office space media room this would be considered a flex room meaning you could do really whatever you want to with this space shoot if you want to have set up a big screen tv you can watch your football game and uh, close the door just so no one has to hear your your uh, football game play it as loud as you want to all right, let's go check out this kitchen because it's really nice. And what's big and nice, check out the ceiling and the detail they've done on this. That is beautiful. You do have uh, like a little place here for if you're hosting. Remember, I like this place for hosting. You set up all of your uh, a buffet style thing. They got it done with coffee. But here's your main bar area and your kitchen. It is a... They do have a propane tank buried outside. So it is cooking with gas. We do have a really neat little pantry. I love the frost on there. So you got your typical corner pantry, which would be a perfect size. Plenty of space in there. The uh, black stainless steel here, love the look. The refrigerators do convey with this house. But yeah, here's your nice kitchen. Nice cabinets. I mean, if check out these cabinets. If you can't store everything you need in here, you've got too much crap. This is beautiful. They do have a single basin stainless steel sink. And we're gonna go outside in a little bit, but uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of space to do plenty of activities outside. But yeah, beautiful. All right, let's go check out the secondary bedrooms in this house. But yeah, they, got, they do have a linear fireplace over there. I really do like those that gives you the flexibility of not having to put the 
TV up so high where you're like hurting your neck. So I definitely like having that a linear fireplace with a TV over it. Eight foot doors throughout this house. We've got your powder room right here. Very nicely done. This does have a three car garage. Two tankless water heaters. We got a little, few ankle biters out here. But uh, yeah, you got two tankless water heaters both mounted outside. And this is still Texas, uh, so you do have to have a water softener. So this already has its water softener. Very nice. Hey, killers. All right. Let's check out this laundry room. Uh, this is a really good sized laundry room. They've got an extra, looks to be, well, if I can get it open. There we go. I was expecting to see a couple beers in there, but it's just a refrigerator that can be an extra beer fridge. Washer and dryer. They got the same granite coming all the way through. And I love the cabinets in here. These are like the same cabinets I have in my house, but they've got them in the laundry room. So this really is high end feel for the uh, laundry room there. Coming into this, this feels like it's a master bedroom, but it's not. These bedrooms are huge. This is a really big bedroom. Oh, thought I got all the toilet seats on my walk around, but yeah, one of them is open. So sorry about that, they got me. But check out the size of these closets. All the rooms in this house have their own ensuite bathroom, mud inset showers, Took in the tiles all the way up. Very nice. Oops. All right, let's head on over to the outside because I mentioned before that there's five acres. So most of those five acres are out back. I mean, this is just a beautiful space. All right, right. mentioned uh, these guys like to entertain. Can't entertain without your built-in kitchen. So you've got your grill, Kamado style grill. I'm a Big Green Egg fan, but these Primos are very nice. More even better than the Big Green Egg if you're trying to cook a big brisket on it. Briskets fit perfectly on those. But yeah, nice stone work. Lots and lots of space out here to hang out. The sun is going to set kind of on this back corner over here. That's where West is at. So most of the year, this is going to be very well shaded. As I'm filming this, it is July 8th, around almost 5 p.m. You can see the sun creeping out, creating more shadows, making it not as hot. Because, yeah, this is July in Texas, so it does get hot. But, man, check out the space out here. So many things you can do out here in this area. Just beautiful oak trees, just really neat. If you want to put a big pool, you can. Hell, if you want to put a football field out there, you can do that. There's a lot of space in the, on this lot. And some gorgeous oak trees. There's another big, beautiful one out there. All right, let's head on back inside and we'll check out the other side of this house. What's crazy is the flex room that we saw earlier, that's actually the smallest room in the house. And that just blows my mind with how fast these rooms are in here. So if you like a little elbow room, this is a good place to be at. Cause here's another bedroom over on this side. Lots and lots of space, tall ceilings and its own big bathroom. Once again, beautiful shaker cabinets mud inset showers once again taking the tile all the way up to the top and we've got to check out the closets this room also has a really big closet all right last but not least let's go check out the master bedroom now 
like I said, those the secondary bedrooms were big. Check this one out. Oops, someone got the turn the lights off on me. There we go. Much better. This is a big, big uh, room, and you notice you does have doors going to the outside, so makes it real convenient to go back out from the master bedroom. And then the bath. Let me turn these lights back on again. All right. Okay, missing one. They're probably way over here. There we go. All right. The, now we can start this bathroom thing over again. Look at we got the dual vanities, this space, and this shower. It's a big old shower, but a nice uh, bench back there. The shower is huge. And once again, still taking the tile all the way to the top, which I highly recommend if you're putting tiles. It's a little bit more expensive to take the tile all the way up, but it looks so much better. Your water closet back there. And now let's go check out the size of this master bedroom closet. There we go. See, they like a little stuff there, but plenty of space in here. Nice size closet. Now people are living here, so I do want to respect their privacy by not showing off their stuff they have in the closet too much. All right, let's head back to the main space. Give one last big look all the way around because the main space is really where everybody's going to spend their time socializing, entertaining. I really do like just the feel of this space right here. If you like to host things, this is a wonderful house. All right, that's going to do it for the tour of this custom home on five acres in the town of Natalia south of uh, San Antonio, just off I-35. Beautiful home. Remember, they're asking just over 700 k for this house. So if you're interested in, please reach out to me. I'll be happy to help you. Now, remember, they do have a realtor work representing them as a seller, but I can represent even a buyer. So if you'd like this video, of course, I want you to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And as always, I want you to share these videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now. Have a great day. Bye.